Walmart's going to close four stores in Chicago this weekend. By the way, that is half the total in Chicago. Lydia, who is here? Uh, what? Well, she's in Chicago. What is Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson saying about these uh, closures? Hi there, Stuart. Brandon Johnson is saying the closures here in Chicago are part of a larger nationwide trend. Listen to this. Something that you know Walmart has been doing around the country. It's you know, certainly um, some reflection of the way business is shifting and, and changing throughout the country. And Stuart, you know, Johnson's not wrong on that point. You can see here Walmart is closing more than 20 stores across 12 states and the District of Columbia this year. But about the closures here, specifically in Chicago, Walmart issued a statement saying, quote, our Chicago stores have not been profitable since we opened the first one nearly 17 years ago. These stores lose tens of millions of dollars a year and their annual losses nearly doubled in just the last five years. And Stuart, we had a chance to talk to a local business analyst who says that the problem with closing these stores here in Chicago, that's a reflection of the Chicago business community. He points the finger at rising crime and high taxes. Watch. Property taxes uh, can be tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars even for businesses. We also have one of the most cumbersome regulatory environments in the city of Chicago. And now we're seeing four Chicago Walmart stores closing for the residents that remain. That means fewer options for affordable goods, the necessities, and grocery items that they so desperately need, particularly in this inflationary environment as food remains expensive, Stuart. All right, Lydia, thank you very much indeed.